right, so Jiraiya sneaks into the Hidden Rain Village and Bang catches him immediately, which is just the worst possible scenario here. Like he crawls out of this little frog and Pain turns to Conan and is like, oh yeah, not on my watch. Go do your little origami thing, Conan, let's find out who's here. And I have to say that Jiraiya is a better man than me because if I just infiltrated this very ominous, very quiet land where there is a constant downpour of rain and the rain just stomps the instant I show up, absolutely not. Get me back inside that frog, I am heading home. Anyways, he walks around this creepy little village trying to figure out whatever he can from the people there. Like he's talking to one of these ninja and finds out that not even the residents there know who Pain is, and some don't even believe he's real. He says not only did he destroy the hidden rain, but the last leader, Hanzo, someone that Jiraiya, even with Orochimaru and Tsunade couldn't beat, got dog stomped by the guy. And not only that, but Hanzo's relatives, his friends, and their children all got it too. Oh my god. And that's not even mentioning that he burned down their homes, and even allies of Hanzo and other villages were killed too. If I was Jiraiya and I heard all of that, I would have left. I'm sorry. If that makes me a rogue ninja, so be it. I would have been running my hands through the grass like Thanos out in Tahiti. There is no reason Pain needed to be that thorough. I can promise you that someone that was in Hanzo's Discord server all the way in the hidden sand village is not going to be the man to avenge him. So Conan eventually gets back to Pain after using her butterflies to gather intel and tells him that the intruder is Jiraiya. And this man turns to her and says, he's not on our side anymore, right? Let's jump him. Jump him? What do you mean jump him? Jiraiya, I need you to listen to me here, big dog. You need to get out of here and go home before Conan shows up and does that cool little angel wings thing she does with her paper. Oh god, it's too late. And she's doing the wing thing. Jiraiya, please. They start fighting and eventually get into a stalemate with their attacks and Jiraiya oil bombs her so she can't spread her wings anymore. Pain pulls up and I know things will get confusing if I don't clear it up now because there's like six dudes all named Bane, but this is the animal path. Bro summons a giant crab that washes away the oil on Conan and tells her to turn on creative mode and just hang out while I put this old man in the dirt. Then for the next like 20 minutes, Jiraiya runs for his life with his hands together trying to unlock sage mode as Pain keeps spamming his summons at him. Like in order, this dude went from a weird looking snake blizzard to a dog to many dogs, a weird bird thing, a rhino, and finally a bull. Like I understand you are the animal path and that is your whole thing, but you are not a Pokemon trainer, calm down. Jiraiya achieves sage mode and the animal path summons two more of these orange haired weirdos. While Ma and Pa are arguing, one of the new pains runs up on Jiraiya and gets a ferocious kick to their face in return. I mean that is full shin to his nose and he goes flying into the rocks, golly. Look at him, that man is out cold. He uses a massive Rasengan against the fat pain, but he just ends up absorbing it. And Jiraiya slowly figures out that each one of them have a single type of ability, and using that to his advantage, locks them inside of a Genjutsu. He kills all three of the pains and then tells Ma and Pa to rest up, before another path appears behind him and slices off Jiraiya's arm and kicks him out into the lake. He looks up to see all of these paths of pain posted up like the Avengers. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there's not one, not two, not three, not five, but six of these orange-haired Panic at the Disco fans. You heard me right. Six. They all jump down and just raw dog this man Jiraiya. Tendo Path catches his fist and spins him around and then the Asura Path just shoots these missiles at him. Like I haven't sat down and watched every single episode of Naruto, but I thought y'all were ninjas, why does he need missiles? Jiraiya disappears into the water and brings the animal path with him before dropping him in this acid. The dude somehow leaps out of the stomach acid and hurls one of these rods into his chest before dying. The headband of the animal path falls down and Jiraiya starts putting everything together. He realizes that he's encountered every single path before, and I just need to commend how much of a hater Nagato is. He really had such a grudge against Jiraiya for leaving that he dug up the corpses of Shinobi that Jiraiya specifically met, and it's never 
explained why he does this in the manga or in the anime. And these aren't Madara level shinobi either. These are just random dudes that he decided to bring back to life. This is a level of hate towards that man that made Nagato wake up bright and early every day just to prey on his downfall. Anyways, Jiraiya goes back up to get a better look to make sure he isn't going crazy. And to be honest, I don't blame him. What an insane thing for Nagato to do. He hurls a giant shuriken and the big dude dodges and all the other paths are like, oh yeah, you gotta go big dog. One of the pains grabs him by the throat and crushes it before they all stab him with these rods. I don't know how, but he somehow gets up again to send one last message on the back of one of his frogs. But the pains come back again for round three and send out a giant fist that explodes and sends him to the bottom of the lake. Jesus Christ, they hit that poor man with the how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? But, uh, now that it seems like Jiraiya is rolling down in the deep, Tsunade, I heard you single now. So, uh, you think I could...